Oh, that's a good fish. They are on fire. And that rod's on too. Look at that. Maybe it is a pinky. Oh, sh it's an eagle. You guys see that? All right, good morning, everyone. So, obviously we're down here and what we're going to be doing today is trying to tick off as many species as possible. This is gonna be the first location. This is Lang Lang, a beautiful little area. And we're gonna go out onto the mud banks with two heavy rods, one light rod, and just see what we can tick off. So it's gonna be a fun day. This is gonna be our first location. We're probably gonna be trying a few different ones today just to try and knock off as many species as possible. So it's gonna be a good day, a little bit windy, a little bit overcast, but the conditions are absolutely perfect. You know so let's get out of here. Don't want to take my shoes off, so this is the very interesting part. Can I do this without getting the hook? Beautiful. That required a little bit more effort than anticipated. Uh, what just happened then? Man, I've had some god awful luck. Can you hear that? My Mirage drive isn't working properly. Anyway, we'll try to deal with it. So this area that I've chosen is pretty much a massive, massive mud flat. It's very, very tidal. So we're only gonna get about four or five hours to fish here, but a lot of different species do swim through this area. We've got stingrays, a bunch of different sharks, snapper. So a bunch of different species in this area. So hopefully we'll be able to tick off a few and then we can figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Man, this Mirage Drive is doing my head in. Do you guys hear that? The Mirage Drive's broken, so hopefully we can get back out here and get back in, but man, what a pain. Man, I don't know what to do, eh? We're really stretched for time now. I was actually thinking about going back in for about half an hour. I was just seeing if the wind would pick up or not because I don't want to get stuck out here in strong winds with very bad pedals. So we've made the call to go out here anyway. We're almost at the channel now. So we'll quickly get over there. We've only got about two hours to fish now and we'll get some baits out and just see what we can do. A few nice fish down there. I can we'll drop the anchor about here. That wind should push us back over the mark. All right, we've made the call. Beautiful. We're in a really good spot. Let's just get our two big baits here. Squid, that's gonna be one of our baits. Fresh squid from yesterday morning, which I caught. So doesn't get any better than that. First bait we're gonna get out straight away is gonna be a squid tentacle. A little bit crunched on time, so I don't wanna mess around. I'm just gonna get the two big baits out straight away and then we'll also rig up the little rod. Second big bait end of the squid tube. Get that one in a little bit deeper water. Little rod to hopefully pick up some different species. So tiny little bit of squid tentacle on a much smaller hook. Cast that out there. Now we've got our three rods rigged up. So we've got fresh squid on every single one of them. Two bigger rods, one smaller rod. Let's see how long it takes to tick off the first species. Time is starting to run out. Every minute now is very valuable because we have to get back in to our launch site before the tide drops too low. And the tide's just about to turn to the run out, so we've probably got about two hours of fishing. So that's gonna be our time frame, and let's see how many fish we can tick off in that time. We got something. Yes, we got a fish. Don't know what it is, but it is a fish. I think it's a little gummy. I'm not too sure. He won't be very big though, I don't think. It's been very quiet so far, and we've got our first fish of the day. Oh, a little pinky. That's interesting. Not a bad little fish at all. Take a look at that. The first species of the day is a nice little pan-sized snapper. He is hooked in a weird spot, very weird spot. Now, we might actually keep this little fella, so 
he'll be coming home with us, but that is the first species ticked off. A beautiful pan-sized snapper. He's not bad at all. Let's get that bait back out. Before that little fella, it was looking very dismal. <laughs> the mirage drive's not working, we weren't getting any bites, but that pinky might encourage some activity. It might be a sign that some fish are gonna start feeding. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. So we've got one species now. It's gonna be a little bit of a grind, but hopefully we'll be able to tick off a few more out here. Oh, damn, little rod's on. Little rod is on to something good. I think that might be another good pinky. <laughs> I reckon that's a good pinky. That is a quality, quality fish. Second fish, I'm gonna call it for a big pinky, I reckon. This is putting up a cracker fight. Cracker fight, it's probably legal as well if it is. Yep, good pinky. <laughs> no net needed. <laughs> Just lifted it in. Man, that is a quality little pinky too. Once again, he's the same size, 37 centimetres. So that last one was 37, and so was this one. So two quality pinkies, two of them the exact same size, and very, very good eating size snapper in general. So that is a nice little feed of baby snapper. Not another species, but we can't complain. Another little bite. Oh, he let go. Oh. Little Rod's getting a bite. Yep. Little Rod's on again. Damn. Another good fish. Little Rod is on yet again. It's gotta be another pinky, eh? He swallowed that. Uh, we might have to keep this one too. Two. Man, yet another pinky. This one's actually 35 centimeters and he swallowed the hook down deep. So he's actually bleeding really badly. So he won't be fit for a release. So we'll keep this one as well. Three different fish, but they're all pinkies. Man, we're doing a multi-species thing, but we're continuously catching these little guys. I'm not gonna complain though, because a delicious little feed and we are catching fish. I wasn't even gonna come out because I was nervous about the Mirage Drive, but we're out here and we're onto a few. Ah, he got off. I know he didn't. Another little pinky. Yep. Man, there's so many of them. He's not a bad one either. That rod is... Ooh, that's on. What's this? That's another one. That is another pinky. Man, this is ridiculous. He could be a little bit better as well though. This is just silly. We've got a pinky in the holder there. And we've got another quality one on here. They're all over legal size as well. Yep, another good one. It's ridiculous. And that other rod's about to go too. We're on. Okay, what is that? Damn. That's not a pinky. That's not a pinky. I don't know what this is. Maybe it is a pinky. Oh shit, it's an eagle. You guys see that? You little rat. Okay, we're not gonna actually be able to land this eagle ray and get him in the kayak, but I guess we'll count this as our second species. So an eagle ray is gonna be number two if we can get him up. Of course it's on the light rod as well, so it's gonna be a massive pain. Baby eagle. Hello, little Jimmy. I'm not gonna go anywhere near that hook. And the little ones are actually harder to deal with. So we'll snip that off, but second species, eagle. There we go. We got that nice and close for him. It's a little bit bigger one as well. Number five. So that'll be all we'll keep. We'll only keep five. Even if we get a few more, we'll try to release them all. But this one's actually swallowed the hooks as well. So he'll be a good keeper. He's probably over 40, that one. So. Not bad fish at all. This is actually crazy. I wasn't expecting to get this many pinkies. I was, I was really thinking it was going to be a mixed bag of maybe some gummies, school sharks, a bunch of different varieties, but there's just a school of pinkies which seems to be around. So a bit weird, but I'm not going to complain. 
Man, I'm kind of devastated because the fishing is really hot at the moment. We've got five pinkies which we've kept. We've also caught that eagle ray. The fishing is kind of red hot, but I have to go in in about 40 minutes. Otherwise, I'll, I'll get stuck out here and it's going to get very windy. So we don't have much longer left and I'm kind of spewing about it because the fish are definitely biting. Like they're really chewing. I'm getting a lot of little bites, a lot of pinky hits. Haven't had any gummy hits yet, but Hopefully we'll be able to get at least one gummy to show off to you guys. That'll be really cool, but I'm not going to complain with these pinkies. They're, they're chewing. Oh, that's a good fish. Damn, that's another snapper. That is another really good pinky, I think. <laughs> How was that? He fully buckled that rod. Oh, that's a good one. Man, these things are chewing their heads off. That is a nice fish, 43 centimetres. I'm very, very happy with that. We've got the six pinkies now and the one eagle ray. The pinkies have been on fire. And I'll tell you what, we're actually gonna let this guy go. Like, we've got a nice feed. We've got a few fish for our mates. So we'll let this one go. Sorry, Alan, I'm gonna let this one go, buddy. All right, see you, mate. See you in a few years, eh? Off he goes. That's on. Yep, this is the last fish of the session because we've got to get in before the tide recedes. Oh, that rod's on too. Every single rod is getting bites at the moment. We've got to go. Damn, this is another good one too. We've got a fish on that rod as well, and that rod was getting bites, but we've actually got to go. So as soon as we are release this fish, we're going to pack up this rod, and then we're also going to wind that fish in, pack up that rod, and then pack up this one as well, because we've got to go. We don't have enough time. We have, we have to leave to beat the tide back in. And this is going to be a good one. Look at that. That's another in the 40s. Okay, let's get this one in now. This one's only small. Okay. Man, I can't believe we've got to go. The fish are on fire at the moment. Damn. I would stay out here for the low tide, but the wind's meant to pick up to like 15 knots and it'll just get too dangerous. So I'm not going to risk that, but what a session we've had. What a session. This is going to be like 10 pinkies, I think, in two hours of fishing. That is ridiculous. Bang. There's another one, another very, very quality fish. They are on fire and that rod's on too. Look at that. This is ridiculous. Oh, got off. That is a really pretty fish, eh? That is the eighth or ninth pinky for the day. This one was 45, so that's actually getting up there. That's a really solid fish. We've kept five, so I reckon we'll let this one go as well. All right, see you, buddy. Off you go. Go on, don't float back up, I'll get you. All right, we gotta go. We've pushed it. I'm not actually gonna go out for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go home and fix this drive and we'll do this multi-species challenge thing another day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like on the video. I know we didn't tick off a whole bunch of species, but we did end up with a very nice amount of pinkies. We caught nine or so pinkies, all of them over 33 centimeters, and I think the biggest was 45. So if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And one final thing, Taylor, if you're watching this video, then I seriously appreciate the note which you left on my car. You might not be, but if you are, I 